What is it, YouTube? And welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. And you can see we have our first batch of bonbon trees planted. That is from what we managed to get at the top. Now you can see the settings for harvesting them is quite simple. Now, obviously, selecting don't harvest, it only affects the wood. The nectar will be produced regardless if you provide them with light. And of course, somewhere for the nectar to go, i.e. you have to plumb them in. And yes, you have to plumb the trees directly into a liquid pipe. So what I'm going to do is continue to build up. We can now see there's a lot more up here. And there are some shine bugs as well. So I'm going to try and capture those. Trap them in the farm with the trees. To allow them to do exactly what they're doing in the wild. All we should need to do then is provide the trees with snow. And they'll turn that snow into nectar and wood. We, of course, already have the process in place that we are turning wood into power and oxygen. So growing the trees with a bit of snow gives us two, two of the main resources we require, right? Oxygen to breathe, power to do everything for us. Sounds fair. Now, of course, to do everything over here and up there that I've just set, they are blocked by the door, so I have just undone that. To hopefully get them to quickly blitz this which is why i'm making it as level 10 to get it blitzed and then we can close it off again because them coming over here regularly is not doing them very well because the oxygen isn't anywhere near here though to be honest where it's actually happening up there there is oxygen so they should be okay because they'll get a hold the breath get to breathe while they're working and then hold the breath to come back again we need another i don't know i'm not counting that say 18 uh trees to go however as i've said they need to be in a three by three area at the time i was doing this i didn't know that which is why i just made it up and threw them in to see what happens but yeah they need to be three by three so a lot of those trees that i plant i will reduce and actually what i'm doing now if you're doing the same you will need a lot less trees than you probably think you do that there is a bottle of nectar that's what it looks like and again, nectar is something that can be given to the seal pups to turn into ethanol. Or you can use it to turn into sucrose, which is sugar, of course. Because effectively, nectar is just sugar sugar water. Uh, he's not... Oh, he, he just made it. This guy, this guy is... I don't know. How he's lived this long, I do not know. I could have restricted him to the door, but again, everybody's going to pull the finger out. And if he has to suffocate, to be honest, him dying and then letting him replace replace that duplicate with a duplicate and actually move a decent speed would actually be beneficial because our 12 duplicates need to be pretty decent. Of course, it's not 12 only. I can go above 12, but I have to have at least 12. If anybody's bothered about capping that, let me know. If not, I'll probably try and get to 20 actually because there is a achievement for 20 or 22 can't remember using the new liquid tanks loads of new items in this pack not necessarily related to the frost pack uh, you can use them without but these you there are a lot of liquid tanks smaller ones medium ones and also gas tanks medium ones as well so over at the power area, you can see we've actually got a decent amount of carbon dioxide building up, both from the bottom of the base, but also in the segment below the base where the power plants are. So what I'm going to do is apply more of the aloe vera plants to convert that. You can see there's crap ton in there. But what's in here, I'm just stealing. It is sealed off. It's not causing too much dramas, but you can see all of that carbon dioxide and anything else, to be honest. It's just being pumped into the farm to keep the farm running. The most important thing here is to keep those plum plants growing so that we don't lose our bamaths. The pineapple, pineapple thing, pie couple things. Uh, we have a crap ton of those. I'm not worried about those. Two farms is probably a bit overkill. But it's given us some calories as well. You can see the calories for uh, our colony is 71,000. So it's definitely lower than I'm used to. But we don't have any of the other crops yet. Once we get mushrooms or something like that in place, I can get some mushrooms growing. We know they work well. Looking to put some lights in because now it's very apparent that the trees need lights to grow to that nectar stage. 
I have a couple of skins, so I'm going to use the new skin for that. And we probably need, say, five, four or five to cover all of this farm. Each light uses 10 watts and produces a reasonable amount of heat. But of course, with this map, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So it is just using a bit of power. We are getting a lot less warnings now on the trees in regards to the light. But what I am noticing is that the light required, the looks required for the trees is reasonably high. So although the light is covering a large area it doesn't necessarily cover all of the trees in that area because of for that reason now every other tree has been set to not harvest and the other ones have so that we are splitting them now at this point technically it's still not big enough because you need three wide per tree so there should be a two gap between the trees not a one but i'm learning as we go we obviously have enough seeds now um, so that's a bonus and then we need to get one more light at the end so it's going to be four lights required for that so that's going to be 40 watts of power and again eventually they will heat up but I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon so the heat side shouldn't be a problem but then I had an idea the luminous quartz give off light and to be honest, in the in the base that was doing me editing, I found quite a few of them, so I've carved them. And yes, they're working. So we can see now that each of the trees has not enough space still, because I haven't done that bit. But with the quartz between them, that is giving more than enough light for the trees to grow. Also, nowhere near as much heat, nowhere near, and zero electricity. So to me, this is actually a fantastic thing for growing crops with light using these quartz. And this will be the same for bristle blossom as well, that up until this point have required light and then they always get too warm because the lights warm up the farms. This should stop that. Now the shine bugs are still in there just to help out. The more light you give the trees, the more efficient the uh, production of nectar is. And that is, sorry, the more light you give the branches each branch and there's a maximum of five per tree gives a percentage in terms of efficiency to the nectar production and the more light you give them the higher that percentage goes so the shine bugs can't hurt being in there they'll just bone give a bonus to whatever tree they are next to there is a feeder in there of course for them to eat so they won't die they are being looked after they're not being what's the word groomed that's it um, that type of looked after but they're being fed and then they get to do their own thing they are a bit cold but to be honest they were cold in the environment so I'm not doing anything negative to where they were already so although the trees now the bonbon trees are domesticated um, they're kind of in exactly the same situation they was before the only difference is they've got more light and yes I am ignoring the seals on purpose because I really don't want nectar turn into ethanol if anything i want nectar to be sucrose or actually i'm going to use it in this series for the first use uh, to make plastic and now i've got some sort of normality i'm going to fix the rooms making sure that all of the rooms are their maximum size so that i get the efficiency from them this bathroom uh, and the bedrooms or barracks are 96 tiles and each of the burners can support up to four beds so as you can see it's going to be two burners per bedroom with eight beds in that bedroom or barracks and you'll see we'll get the boost from there you can see the research room as well has been kitted out to be research so that's increasing the research speeds and everything counts, right? So once I've done this and moved the bathrooms and bedrooms over to this right-hand side with the maximum, I can then take out the ones on the left and start putting in the other room types, like a recreational room is a good place to go for morale anyway. Yes, I know, I'm still using, and this is the, probably the longest I've ever used, the outhouses and the uh, not plumbed sinks, but we all know why, right? We don't have water yet. That solution is coming very soon. Uh, but it's not here yet. Uh, 
And then if we look at room types now, we should see a lot of colour. And colour is good because that means you've done something right. And there we go. So two farms, barracks, bathroom, bathroom, barracks. Nothing down in the power room because we need that machine in there. Those two bathrooms on the left, I'll probably get rid of those shortly. The mess hall is looking okay as well. We could probably do with a couple of those just to spread it out and give extra bonuses. And of course, they can be extended too. So now we have the bedrooms and bathroom infrastructure on the right hand side. We can now look to make this whole left hand side into a proper sized room. And also, I need to be a bit more careful with my uh, deconstruct tool. Because if you set it on all of them and you're ripping up the floor, you're obviously taking out the piping as well, which I've done there. Luckily, the farms are doing okay at the minute. And you can see the sweepers are helping me out. Anything that I'm putting down, if they can reach the resource, they will grab it and put it down for me. So then all you're actually doing for your duplicates is building. They're not having to carry things around. The hospital, of course, could do with being made a lot bigger. And yes, that is a hospital. Because it has the sink, toilet, and a mess table in there, it makes it a hospital, which means that they get an increased heal rate. I do love the hairstyles on the duplicates for this patch. The unfortunate thing is, though, I haven't really been helped to use them because every time I see one of the cool hairstyles, their stats or traits are pretty crap. Um, and I'm not going to take hairstyle over over stats. That guy's here there. His excavation's good, uh, but we don't really need digger because everybody's good at digging now. And that one's just too low stats on everything. I only like to go for the sort of 7, 8 plus stats where they're singular. These ones where they're mixed don't really have uh, an idea of benefit to me at this stage. And there's some algae, but taking half a ton of algae is irrelevant uh, because you'll burn through that in seconds and then, well, you'd have wasted the resources to convert it, no doubt. And pushing forward that little bit extra, we can see now we have some movement on the left-hand side too. So one of the new fridges, loads of new items actually. You've got to be careful though because I'm used to using the refrigerators and the freezers from the mods previously, which of course are modded by the volume count as well. These fridges that they've included, you can see, are very small. They only hold 200 kilos of food, um, which is a lot less than the modded stuff. So what I'm going to do is put that down, and that will be priority, so it always stays full. And then you use the modded fridges in the kitchen for the backup items. Now, the kitchen's not actually a kitchen yet, because I believe you need a spice machine in order to make it a kitchen, so... There's that. But we are progressing. That is a mess hall that supports two, four. That's 12. So, yes, that supports up to 12 people. We have 11. The room below then we'll chuck some phones in. That will become a recreational room. It will need a decor item to make it a recreational room, though. You can't just put recreation items in a room and it count. You need at least one uh, decor item. And then just extra beds. So now we have five beds in the hospital. I'm not sure, though, if we actually have an official doctor. Might need to look at that. And the carbon dioxide production in this bottom section is still working well. I did leave the doors open at the bottom to let some of it reach that room where the pump is so that we can send it to the farms when needed. The pipe's been broke again, which is why the pump's not running. Those chests there above the pump are all for liquefactables, so that is all of your ices, snow... Crushed ice, frozen, polluted water, etc, etc. Anything that is meltable is in there. Hospital up and running again now with extra beds. Kitchen has a backup fridge in there that has a much larger storage capacity, even though it's three times smaller. Don't question it. And then you can see I've used the massive wood beams there on the recreation room as the decor items, which are cool. I love those. And yeah, the farm, we've now got that working as well. So each of the trees has its 3x3 three three space with a quartz light next to the tree, which is making everything work nicely. Let me know if you're aware of a better idea than that. But to be honest, I think other than putting one of the crystals either side of the tree to give it maximum light, I'm not sure you can get more efficient with that um, without using other resources, i.e. power. Or throwing out loads and loads of heat. Now, 
Can anybody guess what I'm planning for here? I'll give you a few seconds to guess while they start to dig. And if you guess power spine, you are correct. Yes. So that is where I'm going to put the power spine. Obviously, the whole gap between here and the power spine will be for rooms subject to change because I've got no idea what I'm going to use them for. The rooms, obviously, that you can see here are capped. So that gap there between is going to be needed for something else. I may install the mod that allows me to make the rooms bigger. Uh, but for now, I think I'm not going to bother because I want to try and keep it somewhat original without just every time I come up to something that's different to what I'm used to, chucking a mod in to fix it. So at this stage where I've not put a mod in, if I've forgotten to put the mod in, then it wasn't important in my head is what I'm saying. Of course, I'm going to try and build this in to stop this snow from falling because it's so annoying. It also opens up a giant gap for gases to get stuck. Uh, and you want them. Is he trapped? He is trapped. Yeah, they're trapped. There we go. There we go. Get them down. But yeah, we'll leave them to dig that power spine. And of course, it's four wide because we want a ladder. Uh, there are three tiles for the transformer. Now, of course, transformer. The low transformer is only two tiles. But the high volt transformer is three tiles in the future. I could, though I don't know if I can be bothered, do an extra tile for a pole just to allow them to get down quicker. But it seems like a waste of resources just for a power spine that they don't really or should never need to be anywhere near at any for any length of time. And there we go. Of course, I'm going to change the priority on them because they do not need to be that high. But that's just squaring off the left-hand side as well. Leveling everything out now. I have some sort of structure where I know people aren't going to die. We can now start actually making the base ever so slightly bigger. Um, but also symmetrical. That's the key. More aloe vera plants. More aloe vera plants because, well, more carbon dioxide. Uh, yeah, you can see that there are splotches of oxygen in there. That's where the... Oxalite is getting dropped and then off gassing or sublimating in that room though now we have the sweepers that's Sort of automated they need to pull off the plant and then as soon as it pulls it off the plant the sweeper can put it into the Storage that it needs to go in as long as it is of course within range now We need to push this down which is what I'm doing here because you can see there is a lot of carbon dioxide getting built up in the base. And although there are the gas tiles to allow it to drop, the reason it's not dropping is because there's too much. So we need other ways of getting this carbon dioxide out of the base. And hopefully, with some research coming in thick and fast, as you can see, there's a lot of research I've done that I haven't looked at yet. All I really need is a pump, a, a, a gas tank, and a automated atmospheric pressure thing, gauge. Uh, and we can set then an automated system that will pump out the carbon dioxide until it gets to the tiles below the bottom of the base. Anything then can just be turned into oxygen through the standard routes. But the gases that are in the base where the beds are is problematic and you can see that that bottom barracks is a bit squeaky in terms of gases i'm going to use this right hand gap over here as i said we had it for something i'm going to use it for liquid storage apparently though we don't really have any liquids but that's what i'm going to use it for i am not going to install the mod that makes the rooms bigger we are going to use um, the standard room sizes. I don't mind using the additional rooms mod that gives you more, but I'm not making them any larger. And with the power spline, spline, spine in place, uh, we also unlocked the incubators finally, and our farms have actually run out. I don't think we've got any foxes anymore because of that. So. This is where we need to get these cracking. Now, I'm going to use the same spots as the water storage because, or liquid storage, because we don't have any liquid, one. And two, um, because it's closer to the power spine and therefore there are floors or, or transformers, sorry, that we're not using, so it's just easier. You can see we are getting some nectar from these trees, though, mm, meh, I'm still not entirely sure. 
I need it as of yet. 39 tons of wood at the minute, but that is going to drop quite drastically now we are using it for power. And we're still using it to heat the bedroom barracks, remember. And with the loom up and running, you can see... Oh, and Dr. Max there on the left-hand side. Hello, Dr. Max, our first Doctor of this series. So the loom is set to make 11 warm clothing jumpers. We have plenty of reed fiber from the Bamaths. So everybody is going to get a woolly jumper, which should remove everybody's issue with the cold. As far as I'm aware, it should be more than... Yeah, you can see they're all putting their jumpers on and they're very happy about it. A couple of them are wearing schnazzy suits. The schnazzy suits look good. They increase the core, but they do nothing for thermal protection so i'll make them drop them i'm just going to go through every single duplicate is going to have a jumper on and that should make everybody much happier when traveling outside of the base where it is much much cooler and with the incubators finished setting them to do the eggs the sweepers are going to kick in and help us out with that i am automating them so they only come on for a couple of hours in the morning to allow the eggs to be lullaby for that boost in incubation speed but i am not going to drain all of my wood powering them for all day every day so we have now the eggs on the way which means our farm should kick in and we should get a lot more wood we have every duplicate wearing a jumper and is now happy to go you can see we've uncovered the bottom of the map which takes us out into the abyss of space and obviously because this is the lab map at the bottom of the map when you go through this um, space exposure gap there is a lot of lava which I'm hoping will be our next step into making some liquids finally in this map and getting some heat in this thing but we are at time so thank you very much for watching if you like the video please click like and the comments are welcome as always take care goodbye <laughs>